Hello everybody! See how to recover the files deleted as a result of emptying Windows Recycle Bin or with Shift plus Delete. The Windows operating system places all deleted files into a special folder named Recycle Bin. If an important file was deleted by mistake, you can always find it there. However, the size of Recycle Bin is limited, and the system empties it as, as it becomes full. The files deleted with Shift plus Delete or larger than the size allocated for Recycle Bin are never sent to Recycle Bin. If you face such a problem, just follow our advice. Make sure your file is not in the Recycle Bin and you don't have its backup copy left. Your Windows may have enabled some backup functions such as file history, restore points, system image creation, etc. Use the link in the description of this video to download and install Hetman Uneraser. Remember that you have to start data recovery as soon as possible, because the work of the operating system is connected with the permanent process of creating new files on the system disk. Now let us see in detail how you can use Hetman Uneraser to recover files after Windows Recycle Bin is emptied or after such files were deleted with Shift plus Delete. To do it, Let's reconstruct a situation when important files can be lost. There is a folder containing various files on disk D. Delete it by pressing the key combination Shift plus Delete. As you can see, the folder containing files is deleted and these files cannot be seen on the disk or in the Recycle Bin. So how can you use Hetman Uneraser to recover files after Windows Recycle Bin is emptied or after such files were deleted with Shift plus Delete? Click on Wizard. The File Recovery Wizard opens. Next. Select the drive where the accidentally deleted files were stored. In my case, it is disk D. Next. Leave the default checkbox Normal Scan. Next. In this window, you can only specify the necessary file types to speed up the process of analysis and data recovery. For example, I will check selected file types. In my case, they are archives, audio, video files and images. When you unfold the list, you can specify even more which file types should be searched. I will leave default settings and click Next. In additional options, you can specify the date when the files were created, opened or modified, and the file size to make the search more exact. You can also choose Deleted files only and other options. I will leave the settings as they are and will check Deleted files only because in my case, I deleted the files, which means they were not lost, for example, as a result of a hard disk failure. Next. Wait for the process to complete. The files have been found. You can uncheck the files you don't need and leave only those which are necessary. Next. Here, select Save to hard disk and specify the path where files will be recovered to. Click Recovery and wait, it can take some time. Ready? As you have just seen, the program did the job easily and quickly, and it took me almost no effort, thanks to the user-friendly interface and an easy-to-use recovery wizard. That is all for now. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was useful for you. If you like this video, click the like button below and subscribe to our channel to see more.